Hi everyone, this is Tansil Yusulan, a professor in academia as well as co-founder and financial investigator of a company. As you will see from the background, one of my hobbies is music, especially composing, in addition to photography and writing. So in today's video, my very first video, I would like to discuss review process of a manuscript. I would like to give suggestions on to-dos and not to-dos. So let's start with number one. If you have mild qualifications on the manuscript, you are invited to review, try not to accept the invitation. Now, if you somehow accept it, indicate your confidence level in reviewing that manuscript and only comment on the sections you have the knowledge. Otherwise, it won't be helpful to authors as well as giving wrong comments. It won't be helpful to the scientific review process. Number two, when you review, clearly identify the novelty of the manuscript. The manuscript you are reviewing may resort to ex existing results as building blocks toward new concepts. Try not to focus such existing results unless they are incorrect, but focus on how those existing results create new novel ideas. Such ideas, such ideas can be simple or complex. While we tend to like complex ideas from time to time, do not forget that simple ideas can change uh, the scientific, can really make an impact, can make an equivalent impact as, uh, as complex ideas. Don't forget that. Number three, when you make strong positive or negative comments on a manuscript you are reviewing, please provide justifications. For example, if you write, this has been done, then simply provide proper references, right? If it is done, you need to provide some references. If you feel a theorem or its proof is wrong, then try to provide a counterexample, right? You just need one counterexample to disprove something or point out the places where things go wrong uh, through highlighting the misuse of an existing result with proper references. As another example, if you really feel that the idea goes beyond the state of the art, then you also justify this. So give some references, give, uh, you know, cite to some state of the artwork and say that why this idea goes beyond state of the arts. This is what makes a review a high quality one. Now, number four, every author, right, has a unique manuscript writing style. I have a different style, you may have a different style, and some other authors may have a different style. We are humans, we are all different. So, even though an author's writing style is different than your manuscript writing style, please respect this fact. Try not to change the writing style of authors. Try not to give subjective comments. You know, as a reviewer, you have to give objective comments on the quality of the manuscript and how it goes beyond the state of the art, if it goes. Now, number five, do not take into account the following when you make, when you provide a review, name, gender, race of the authors. You know, I reviewed many, um, manuscripts and also I am acting as the um, associate editor for uh, many journals including IEEE Transactions on Automatic Control. You know, we are receiving journals from top institutions like every institution in the world. So, um, simply focus on the manuscript you are reviewing. You know, top names in the field can make mistakes as well. Or uh, as an, another example, you know, you are, let's say you are reviewing a manuscript from a different institution, which is not on the Ivy League. They can really propose novel, brilliant ideas. Everybody has ideas. So, uh, please, again, focus on the manuscript you are reviewing. Don't get biased with name, gender, race of the authors. Note also that while the previous manuscripts of some authors can be great or poor, the current manuscript you are reviewing can be poor or great. So once again, number five, focus on the manuscript that you are reviewing. Don't, if, if possible, don't look at the names, 
uh, institutions, gender, race, just focus on the manuscript. Number six, try to avoid statements such as this seems correct, this may be wrong. Spend time to go over such parts and try to make concrete statements. Especially, I mean, this is true for many fields, but if you just focus on my field, which is control theory, um, in controls, right? I mean, notice that we are doing control theoretic mathematical applied math type of research. So we generally do not have a gray zone. Some statements are either correct or incorrect. There is no gray zone. Um, so making statements like this seems correct, this may be wrong, does not make much sense for us. Now, number seven, previous one was number six. Number seven, if possible, this is actually an interesting one. Do not start a review when you are in a negative mood. Now, especially when you, you have maybe some limited time, don't do it. Or if you are super happy, let's say, right? I mean, you're, you know, you had a girlfriend or something else, or you proposed to someone and she said yes, or he said yes. I mean, this positive mood will make the manuscript accepted. Or if you are really depressed, too much work, right? We are all in academia. If you are really have limited time in a negative mood, this will make um, your review a little bit, uh, you know, so your mood will affect your review. So while your mood technically should not affect your objectiveness or fairness, it may also affect your language. And when you have limited time, you may tend to skip certain important aspects of the manuscript you are reviewing. And you may tend to write unclear sentences that can be hard to understand for the authors. So um, this was my uh, seven uh, items on the review process. Again, you know, about your qualifications, uh, be sure you are qualified. If not, you are, so, you know, you are qualified to review some parts of the manuscript, focus on the sections that you have knowledge. Second one was identify the novelty. Third one was uh, provide references on the negative and positive comments. And number four, everybody has a unique writing style. Be objective, not subjective. Number five was do not take into account, you know, basically name, gender, race. Just focus on your the, on the manuscript you are reviewing. It may present something awesome. And await number six, await this seems correct, this may be wrong, spend some time. And seven, mood. You know, try to find your natural mood and uh, focus on the important aspects of the manuscript you are reviewing. And now, um, um, for the feedback on, the, uh, on this video, especially for our discussions with Burak Sarselmas is at University of Washington and Merve Doan, she is at Emory Riddle, our Natical University. I would like to thank them and I hope this video can be a little bit helpful um, to your, you know, when you review a manuscript. Again, um, I acted as an associate editor to several journals. I reviewed many, many papers. These seven items were the items that uh, that comes to my mind first when I review a manuscript. So I hope uh, they will be helpful. My suggestions will be helpful to you. And thanks for watching.